I thought I'd do a room tour of my bedroom in my family home, which is where I'm living at the moment. It used to be bright pink, which you can see in some of my old videos. Great choice, old me. But last summer, I repainted it. I think the colour is jasmine white, I'll try and link it below. My room is small, I can't fit a desk and I definitely have too much stuff for it. I like to keep my possessions minimal, I'm no hoarder, but when I moved back I had to fit two rooms worth of stuff into one. So here's my bed, it's a day bed from Ikea. The duvet cover is also Ikea, I get asked about this all the time. Eric, my French elephant, mans the ship and my twin twins sit at the end of the bed keeping guard. Please acknowledge the artfully placed Frankie magazine that I bought to read on the train yesterday as my phone died. I have fairy lights all around the bed which looks amazing at night, and above my bed are some little postcards and photos. Gideon the cat even makes an upside down cameo. I usually pick up my postcards from various art galleries and museums that I've visited. Now we move on to the chaotic part of the room. Here you'll find my open wardrobe, my makeup, and a bunch of other stuff. At the top is a shelf with my memory box and my old university work. This is my hanging rail, where I keep all of the clothes you usually hang. Predictably, everything is in neutral colours. Below my very neutral coloured clothing is my storage quad. It's kind of a bookcase. It's a bit useless for efficient storage, but it's nice for displaying stuff. On top of my quad are a bunch of nice pretty things that I like, including my favourite perfumes and spirits. When I am rich, I will fill my house with candles and perfumes. Next to this, on top of a stack of magazines, is my jewellery box, which I have to keep a lid on to stop the magpies guessing at it. Behind that is a bowl full of general stuff, like lighters and scrunchies. Right behind, there is another candle and a London journal that my best friend Isla gave me. Now, moving into the quad, we have my fake basil plant, my bluebird trinket box that reminds me of Charles Bukowski, and then a lot of books. Next we have my underwear hamper, we won't stay long around here. Below that is the corner of mild chaos. Down here you'll find my makeup, a lot of which is in a makeup bag as I always need to take it to London. Then there's the makeup storage, which has nowhere to go so I keep it on my bookshelf. Then my poor Buddha is squashed behind a stack of books that I don't have space for elsewhere. The most recent addition being Will's This Modern Love, which is fab by the way. Oh, and on top of my laundry basket, there are my sunglasses, for want of a better storage solution. Then on the other side of my mirror, I have my electronics all tucked away. I keep my chargers, straighteners, etc. all in this gold container. I also have an iPod Classic and some Bose speakers down here, so that I can listen to my music. Underneath my bed is my box full of secrets, otherwise known as my box full of stuff I don't know what to do with. Then there's my box of hair care slash skincare products, and finally, my filming equipment. Also, I have this cute world map bunting across one wall. You've probably seen it in my vegan video. In this final corner, I have all the things that I don't know where to store. My camera bag and box of miscellaneous, frequently reached for stuff is at the top. Then my socks and tights are sorted below. Under those is my craft box, where I keep all the tools I use to make my artier videos. Below that is some winter clothes storage. And finally, these three spotty tins that someone put in my room the other day and I have yet to open. Thank you for watching. I'll write where I got everything from in the description box. If you enjoyed it, please share it about and like the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.